According to OSHA, slips, trips, and falls cause the majority of general industry accidents, accounting for 15% of all accidental deaths and bringing more fatalities than all other causes but motor vehicles. OSHA's standards for walking and working services apply to all permanent places of employment, except where domestic, mining, or agricultural work is performed only. The employer is responsible for providing a work environment that is clean, orderly, and sanitary, and installing safety measures for various workplace dangers, such as floor openings, wall openings, ladders, and staircases. Each employee is responsible for maintaining the work environment and alerting the employer to any potential dangers to minimize the risk of injury. Workplaces must be kept clean, orderly, and sanitary. Workroom floors must be maintained as clean and dry as possible. Clear obstructions in aisles or passageways that could create a hazard. Permanent aisles and passageways should be marked. Aisles must be wide enough where mechanical handling equipment is used. Make sure that you are aware of the floor load rating before beginning any floor loading procedure. Load ratings must be marked on plates and clearly posted. Workers must not exceed the load rating limit. A floor opening is an opening measuring 12 inches or more in least dimension in a floor where an employee could fall. To guard a floor opening, a standard railing or tow board would be in order. For floor openings with a stairway, the opening must be guarded by a standard railing on all exposed sides except the entrance. Guard ladderway openings with a standard railing and tow board on all exposed sides except the entrance. Guard the passage through the railing with a swinging gate or offset it to prevent someone from walking into the opening. Floor holes are openings measuring less than 12 inches but more than 1 inch in dimension through which materials may fall through. Every floor hole that can be accidentally walked through must be guarded by a railing, tow board, or cover. Wall openings are any openings through which someone may fall. All openings with a drop of four feet must be properly guarded. Open-sided floors or platforms must be guarded by a standard railing or equivalent on all open sides, except where there is an entrance to a ramp, stairway, or fixed ladder. A tow board is required when a person can pass, there is moving machinery, or where there is equipment below with which falling materials could create a hazard. Regardless of height, open-sided floors, walkways, platforms, and runways must be guarded by a railing and tow board. Flights of stairs with four or more risers must have standard stair railings or handrails. Fixed industrial stairs must be slip resistant with uniform height and tread width. Stairs must be able to carry five times the expected load and be at least a minimum width of 22 inches. Ladders used to gain access to a roof or other area must extend at least three feet above the point of support. Withdraw defective ladders from service and tag or mark dangerous or do not use. Never use ladders in a horizontal position as scaffolds or work platforms and never use metal ladders near electrical equipment. Use the ladder at angle where the horizontal distance from the top support to the foot of the ladder is one quarter the working length of the ladder. All ladders must be inspected periodically, kept in good condition at all times, and must be free from sharp edges, splinters, oil grease, or other defects which would affect their use. Fixed ladders are any ladder that is permanently attached to a structure, building, or equipment. K-1 
cages or wells are required if the fixed ladder is longer than 20 feet and up to a maximum unbroken length of 30 feet. Ladder safety devices may be used on tower, water tank, and chimney ladders over 20 feet in unbroken length instead of cage protection. All fixed ladders must be inspected regularly and be maintained in a safe condition. All scaffolding must be capable of supporting four times the maximum intended load and should not be altered or moved while in use. Workers on scaffolds must be protected from overhead hazards. If the scaffold is higher than 10 feet, the scaffold must have guardrails, midrails, and tow boards. Use wire mesh between the tow board and guardrail if people work or pass underneath the scaffold. Damaged or weakened scaffolds must not be used. A safe means must be provided to gain access to the working platform level through use of a ladder, ramp, etc. Never work on scaffolds during storms, high winds, ice or snow, and always be aware of the hazards of overhead power lines when working on scaffolds. In summary, slips, trips and falls constitute the majority of general industry accidents. OSHA's standards for walking and working surfaces include requirements for housekeeping, guarding floor and wall openings and holes, as well as industrial stairs and ladders. Clean, dry, and uncluttered working surfaces can prevent many workplace accidents. This has been a production of Federal Safety Solutions. For more information, please visit FSSAmerica.com.